my friends, jean serge Gagnon here from Success with JS. Are you looking to automate Instagram? You know how Instagram doesn't allow you to automate things. So what if you did the other way around? Automate some other things. Like for example, I can show you how to automate Pinterest from Instagram. So in other words, you spend a lot less time in Pinterest because it's a pretty cool, um, you know, um, media image uh, platform and, and it's, it's gaining a lot of popularity right now. But one thing that's kind of you know, difficult is if you're trying to do all sorts of different things, all sorts of different social medias, you know, it takes time to do each of them, right? So if you can automate, use one, like Instagram is very, very popular as well, and it's super easy to get followers, and there's a whole bunch of training on that, but there's not much on Pinterest yet, and the thing is that by, you know, using Instagram, you can automate other things. So I'll show you how to automate your Pinterest posts by using Instagram, so you're basically doing you know, killing two birds with one stone, right? So, uh, let me show you how that's done. All right, so let's go to my uh, desktop. So now, uh, basically, if you're using Instagram, so for me, for example, I'm posting inspirational quotes like this, right? I post some, some images with quotes in them, and uh, I also, you know, go through Instagram. Now, of course, on your phone, you can do all this, but I'm showing you on the computer because it's you know, you can go through here, and then you can just say, like, say, for example, um, I like this image here, you know, I'm going through here, and I'm liking things, and uh, then, you know, that that just kind of, that's the engagement part of it, right? With Instagram, like any other social media, you should be commenting, you should be liking things, you should be sharing their, the, the, some of the things, uh, you should be sending people messages, and you should be following people, right? So that's all in Instagram training, but... What I just did there, so what I do is I have a Pinterest uh, board over here. If I go to my uh, Pinterest board that is basically, oh, this is my follower, sorry about that. So a Pinterest board that is uh, my Instagram likes. So if I look through here, uh, where's my Pinterest, Pinterest, LinkedIn, uh, Instagram, sorry, <laughs> I should have looked that up before I did this, Instagram posts. So I have my Instagram posts, any posts that I put on Instagram, and then I also have my Instagram likes, which are someplace up here. Geez, can you see them? Instagram posts are right here. Pinterest, LinkedIn, oh, there you go. No, Instagram success tips. My apologies for this. This is a kind of a, oh, there they are. Okay, so my Instagram likes. So this is a board. Uh, that contains my Instagram likes so that basically what happens is every time I like something it shows up here and that means that if somebody's on Pinterest they see these these uh, images go by right so I'm not sure what's going on over here it's not letting me view the there you go okay sorry again about that so as you can see there's a whatever you know in a post and it fills you know my 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 feed and everything right with uh, any kinds of things that I you know I click like on and I even do my own so for example I post something and then I like it so then it shows up here and how do I do that is I use IFTTT so there's three tools that I've seen so far that allow you to um, automate to Pinterest so buffer which allows you to post things that's that's great, but you have to take the time to, you know, do it specifically in there and post for uh, Pinterest, which which is awesome. Uh, with OnlyWire, it's the same thing. You can post here, and then you can choose to uh, select only your Pinterest uh, account, right? And then in IFTTT, what you do, basically IFTTT is if this, then that. So you go in here, you create an account. It's, it's actually free, which is pretty awesome. You say create a recipe. And then you click on this, and then you say if Instagram, whoops, Instagram, you choose that. And then you have a whole bunch of triggers. You can say, you know, a, a new picture yet, you like something, you know, new photos, somebody commented, new videos. So I just say, for example, uh, where's my likes? Uh, any new like, new like? Maybe it won't let me choose it because I already have a, um, oh, you like a photo right here. So. Then I say, uh, then what do I do? And, th and this is the thing with uh, if this, if this, then that, you can do all sorts of other things. But say, for example, for Pinterest, I would just go Pinterest and then add pin to a board. 
and basically you enter the board name and the source URL and the caption and the you know it's, it's all out of, and you know there's training on that too but basically you do that and now you have something that you can use Instagram you can go through you can add, vid add videos add images and then they'll show up in Pinterest and then that makes you active in two different platforms which some people think geez you can't automate Instagram and you can't there's there's lot they don't allow automation uh, but you can use Instagram to automate other things using IFTTT all right so if you enjoyed this video um, make sure that you share it with your friends and let everybody know um, about the, these tips so that they can benefit from it too uh, and comment you know let me know what you think if you have any questions I would love to hear from you and uh, don't forget to go to my website and register for tips to your inbox have a great day